The year was 1997. Yeah, the year was 1997, I guess. There was a new book published called Meg. And with this book brought the Megalodon genre to life. But then, 1999, two years later, the trench was brought. But then, a good... Hmm. But then, five years later, we'd get the third book, Primal Waters. Hmm. But... Is that a poor... Another five years would pass on until our fourth book, Meg, Hex Aquarium. This one much more bigger and thicker. But then, the series would take a much wider break. From 2009, for seven years, no other Meg books were released until finally, Meg Night Stalker, the fifth one in the series. And then, seriously, later on, actually, hang on, Meg, okay, and now in this year, we get a sixth Meg book coming up called Meg Generations. So, it was a long time, and the book series was very popular, but what was missing was not another sequel, no, a movie version. So, we would wait. From 1997 onwards to get a movie. So, this year in 2018, the Meg, the first book of the Meg, would become such stuff. And then, finally, someone at Warner Bros. was like, hey, let's make a Meg movie. And that just rose. The Meg, which is the movie we'll be reviewing, which is based off a book. So, what happens when you base a movie of a giant prehistoric shark off a book of a giant prehistoric shark? And what do you get? You get some. Well, let's. Now, the book was a classic. It has its character Jonas Taylor and his wife, Carrie Taylor, I guess, have to fight a gigantic megalodon with their friend Mac. And then with the announcement of the Meg, I was hope it was clear Jonas Taylor was being going to be played by Jason Statham. But then something struck me. Who is going to be playing Carrie Taylor? And then also... But then I realized, wait, where is Taylor? Terry. And I didn't see her in this film. And I was like, hmm, she's not in this one. That she wasn't in it. So that was a noticeable big dropping point. Wow. But something that got me great was the fact that Mac was in it. And if you don't know who he is, he's in all of the Meg books so far. And he's one memorable character, too. The Meg was full of great acting, and overall it was hilarious. But something I feel they missed the opportunity was to show the beginning of a T-Rex getting eaten by the Megalodon. Oh, I just realized of a great beginning. So, if they're going to make a sequel, which they clearly are going to do because of how popular it was, when they start the sequel, it should have the Megalodon eating the T-Rex and then open up to Jonas Taylor talking about the Megalodon from the first book. And who knows where the rest of the plot for the second one is going to go. But the Meg. Holy crap, this movie was awesome. And the CGI shark actually looked kind of decent from what we were getting, actually. So that's good to know. Also, one thing is a character. Yeah. Shut up. His name is DJ, and if you don't know, he was also from the first book. But, yeah. hang on. The character DJ from the book 
but actually it's supposed to get his death scene on page 118 it reads it reads a cynic and lexan defining kazir in his skull imploded flat tearing his brains across the shattering <laughs> cockpit glass as you can tell the mech series wasn't really meant for little kids as seen with the gruesome tales of DJ's poor horrific death. However, in the book, in the movie, they let him live. Which I have no problem with. You got to have some differences from the movie to the book. Otherwise, what would be the whole point of watching the movie if it was just the same as the book? Overall, the make was a funny, hilarious, cheesy, good movie. And which is also the first short movie I ever saw in theaters. So overall, I think the Meg would get a nice 9.5 out of 10. I think the only big shot they missed was Terry Taylor. I don't say, oh, they probably just didn't want to add her in. She was a main character in almost all the books, so it would seem odd not to add her in. But if she is secretly in as one of the characters, and I just don't know who who she is, and I'm going to feel really dumb. Also, I know there's a character called, called Jack B. Jackie, who, if you don't know, I feel like is a clear reference from move all your books from crime from Night Stalkers. If you don't know, spoiler: Meg Night Stalkers. David Taylor, who, spoiler, if you haven't read the books, is Jonas' son from the Prime Waters. Meets this girl Jackie. And suddenly she is, although I was expecting her to be killed. Overall, the make gets a 9.5 out of 10 because of how awesome it is. Man, this video is way much longer. I guess I just love talking about these two books, this movie and book. So, yeah, you guys. Bye!